Hello and welcome to another episode of Equestrian the Game. Hope you're all well. What am I doing right now? Well, I am grinding. I'm grinding to get cash to upgrade my trailer and I'm also grinding to get my horse, which I bought to, which is Sanchu's there, trying to get her to Grand Prix. So I'm doing two little grinds at the same time. You may notice these two little horses here, Bellamy and Pixie. 10 points if you can guess where the name Bellamy is from, what TV show that was from. But yeah, these two I won't be keeping, they're just ones I bought for fun and what I can do is passively train them and you get a tiny bit of money for doing it. So yeah, those horses are just not going to keep them at all but they're just, they're just there keeping my other horses company. So my trailer is tier 9 and my office is tier 10, max level. And my silo at the moment is only tier 4, I don't need it any more than that right now because I don't have that many horses, so right now that works. And in the stable who do we have wanting to meet you guys? We have Mambo, you guys know Mambo. He's still here, he can't go to Grand Prix though, so you know what I am thinking I may have to sell him on. I know I said I wouldn't do it, but hopefully I can get a Mambo number 2. I really hope we don't end up going to Mambo number 5. But yeah, so we've got Bellamy the Frisian, um, Bellamy and Pixie over there, and then we have Sand Shoes. Sand Shoes has this weird name right now because she is wanting a new name from you guys if you want to suggest a name hit the community tab on my channel and you can comment there or you can comment below and I'm going to put the names into a wheel of names and pick one randomly. So yeah, hopefully my future Grand Prix horse will have a name from one of you guys, which would be awesome. So this little pony here I got because I liked the traits. I found out that I really do like that jumping prospect and careful. And happy-go-lucky is kind of nice, I think, that um, Mambo has that. And then I do prefer kind of warm-tempered, hot-blooded kind of horses that speed up rather than slow down. This is a little bit easier for me if, they, if they're speeding up, I don't have to constantly keep egging them on. Um, so, Sand Shoes. She has got Jumping Prospect, Adamant, Rhythmic, Proud. She's kind of cool tempered so that doesn't really work but she's 731 in her potential and I actually got her from the tier 9 trailer. I thought you could only get Grand Prix horses from the tier 10 but obviously not because she was from a tier 9 which is great. Not going to complain about that. I still have a little look, have a little check, there's a lot of Welsh cobs on here right now but every, every time it refreshes I always check and see if there's anything good. This Aga... Agamemnon. Agamemnon. <laughs> Looked cute, but I already have a liver chestnut now, so. What we're gonna do is we are gonna grind a little bit with um, Sand Shoes, temporary name Sand Shoes, and get her to Grand Prix. So I have to start from the beginning, I have to go through all of the tiers, leveling her up. And I think she's really pretty. What do you guys think? Do you like how she looks? Like I didn't think the liver, the liver chestnut was a colour that I would ever pick. But you know what? Now I'm thinking that if I ever make a custom again, it might be a colour that I'll consider. I think it's really pretty in the game, especially with the flaxen and her big bushy tail. She's like a fox. That's what she reminds me of, like a fox. I really like her. She's kind of tiny though. She's like 15 one hands or something. So yeah. She's not she's not as good at jumping as Mambo, I have to say. Uh, that's probably either something to do with the training or the traits, but he seems to not care if I go hell for leather and she seems to like me to slow down a lot and it's a bit of a problem actually. I don't know how she's going to cope later on. So I am going to keep up her training, try and max it out because all that is going to help later on. So every day I have to do the training and I'm just here in the arena right now and it looks really pretty as usual. Uh, I think this is the same time of day as what I was in it last time I filmed but it's very pink and very cute. 
and she looks very cool. I did get her some new tack, which is orange, which matches the kind of chestnut colour. And I did buy some other tack and, um, and one outfit, I think, for my rider. So yeah, there's a couple of little outfits I got going on and tack set, so yas. It's good. It's very. There's a lot of nice things in the store, and I kind of want them all. But I'm not trying to go too crazy. But there's certain things that you're like, okay, I want that. <laughs> the good thing about the pass is that you do get like um, one or two kind of sets out of that as well for pretty cheap, to be honest. So that is definitely worth it for me. Okay, so once we've finished a little bit of training with her, we are going to take her and Mambo out and grind some money and levels. I am a big fan of the Warmbloods, I think that is my favourite breed in the game. I do eventually want to get thoroughbreds and Welsh cobs and Arabians and everything as well, but at the moment they just seem to work the best for me. They seem to be pretty good all rounders, so yeah, loving the warm bloods. Plus, they're really pretty. Okay, so it's a new day, another dollar to be made, and we're at 10k, and we need, I think it was 16, so we need like just over 6k. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up some horses for training, get some passive income from that. And then grind, 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 get the money and get the levels. So let's send Pixie out to do some training and Bellamy as I will not be riding them. I think it's only like 14 minutes or something anyway, so it doesn't really take much time. So we'll get that set up and then we'll head out. Alright, so we have sand shoes. Let's get you fed as you would in the morning anyway. I'm just going to give the um, recharge muesli so her energy lasts longer. Gotta check the shop, the shop's refreshed. Let's have a look, see what's in there. We have a few warm bloods. And Welsh cobs. So warm bloods and Welsh cobs. I think that's all we have. Okay, nothing is really catching my eye, so yep. And now I'm going to show you the difference between Mambo and Sand Shoes. <laughs> Terrible name. Um, so yeah, as you can see around here, I'm just throwing him around the corners and everything. And I can approach it at a fast working canter. This is one, two, this is like five, which is the fastest in working canter. And like, he's fine. He jumps really high and he doesn't care. Like if I'm at a bad angle, no problem. If I'm going too fast, no problem. If I'm wobbly, no problem. Like I just wish that he had enough potential to go to um, Grand Prix because I think he'd be really good, but he doesn't. Which is a shame. I actually think he jumps better than Sanshu. So that really sucks. I won't be able to keep him. I thought I would like just keep him and you know do a bit of advance of him all the time, but then I figured out it's just not worth it. Like you, you might as well sell him and try and get another Bay um, that kind of has his traits or is a bit like him and replace him. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's kind of sad. I don't really want to do it. Like at the same time, his spot in the stable could be filled by a horse that could you know earn more money and stuff. So. That's the plan with him. And he's very cute. I love his little markings on his feet and his plait and his tail, his braid. And he just lets me have fun, you know, like he actually just lets me mess around and not care too much about what speed I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing right now though. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> anyway. 
so now we'll move on to sand shoes. And I'll show you the difference of how careful I have to be. So we'll just do the one with 11 jump. She's so much smaller than him as well, right? I don't know, does like does height affect it? I don't think it does, but maybe? I, I doubt it. So yeah, she takes a little bit more consideration when you're not only the angle you come in at, but making sure you hit green as, as best you can and also always having to think about what speed you're at. I mean she can take some pretty fast but I am a little bit concerned as to how she's going to cope with um, Grand Prix for sure. Because she, she, um, she doesn't seem to like lift her feet as much basically. I'm just wondering what breeds you guys are going to get for your horses in game and what breeds you're going to like, like what colours you're going to make for your first custom horses and maybe what you've already got if you're already playing the game. Just wondering what everyone else's like favourite breeds are, you know? Let me know in the comments. What's your favourite breed? What's your favourite colour? What's your favourite tack? Do you think this tack is too loud? Probably. <laughs> It's blinding me. So we're just going to ease her around this course and I will continue the grind off camera because it will be very very tedious and take ages. And we hit two, I think. So that, there's a difference. And we have now gone to Grand Prix with Sand Shoes. The awesome Sand Shoes has done it. I'm very excited right now. I can't wait to see what the course is like. So um, here we go. We're going to try it and. Um, see if this tiny little 15 one hands horse can do it. I bet the jumps are going to be bigger than her. <laughs> so let's get to it. So Grand Prix and it will be tier one. Let's go Sanchez, you can do it. Oh wow, it's it's huge. Those lights look intimidating and massive, but very cool at the same time. Okay, we, we clipped the first fence. This is not a great start. In fact, I'm going to pre-warn everyone, this is not going to be very pretty at all. I'm just saying right now that it takes me a little while. It takes me a few runs to learn a course and uh, find out what speed my horse needs to be going at. Uh, what, what corners I can cut and everything and what is that noise? Is that the music? Guys that music is am amazing! They changed the music for the Grand Prix? It sounds a lot more funky like more like upbeat adrenaline music you know? Okay so what speed will this fence be? Can I do it in a three? Yes? And then I'm just figuring out I could probably cut that a little bit but then the angle I come in at also is a factor I have to take into consideration with this little horsey so it, like it's all good cutting corners but if it means I'm at a bad angle then I'm going to hit a fence and the only way you can progress to the next tier is if you have a clear round which this is definitely not going to be but um, at the moment I'm just trying to figure out like the course, the, the route. I can definitely cut this corner a lot but then I have to be careful coming in at this angle which is rubbish and I should definitely not do that 
but yeah, uh, I have to get a, a fully clear course before I can progress to next level, so I will definitely have a lot of practice ahead of me. And what is going on here? Oh gosh, there's three in a row. And this is very tight. This is very, very tight. Okay. <laughs> wow, that was um, interesting. Amazing. And then just another two, I think. There we go. <laughs> wow, that was a lot of fun. It was tricky, it was hard, but that was fun. And there is, um, just don't look at that. Cover the screen, put your hand over the screen where those red things are there, just don't look. Okay. <laughs> okay guys, that was my first attempt at the Grand Prix and it was a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to practicing it. I do hope I can find another horse that's a little bit more forgiving than this horse, but I will keep her because I really love her color and you guys, Give me a name for her. Go to the community tab and comment there and I'll put it in the spinny wheel or you can do it in the comments below. Let me know if you like her, like her colour, do you like her tack um, and is liver a, a colour that you consider getting yourselves? If you enjoyed the video today consider subscribing, hit the bell button so you don't miss any future videos and of course I'd love to see your comments and give it a like that helps with the algorithm. It really helps the channel and it lets me know that you guys like what I'm doing. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye. -bye.